What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Footballers. And today we're gonna to be talking about one of the most anticipated questions, and that's gonna be looking at what position you should be playing in football. Now we get this on every single video. Someone will say, hey, I'm six foot two, I'm in grade eight, I weigh 230 pounds, what position should I play? And we don't really have enough information when we're asked a question like that to actually make a decision that will really affect you long-term. So this video is going to go into that in depth. Now you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and stick around to the end of this video to see if you're actually playing the right position based on your goals, size, and a couple other factors. Okay, so one of the first questions you should be asking yourself is what position do you wanna be? If you turn on a football game right now, what position are you gravitating towards watching? Are you really entranced by like watching receiver run routes? Are you really interested in like seeing how the big guys battle up front? What part of the game interests you? Now the next thing you should do is now that you kind of have an idea like, hey, I wanna be a, a running back. You should go to your friends that play football, assuming some of them do, and ask them what position do they think you should be based on what they know about you. Now, your parents might not know as much and coaches don't really know a lot about like your athleticism. Your friends, if they do play football, will probably be your best bet. Outside of that, the best next thing you can do is go to the coaches on the team. They can give you like a quick evaluation maybe and just see where they think you might wanna play as well. Now that we have an idea of like where you're gonna be on the field, right? Like a skill guy or a lineman up front, wherever that's gonna be, we need to start looking at the size of those players. So you need to look at, first off, how big they are at your level, how big they are at the next level, and how big they are at the pros, assuming you're in like high school right now. Now that you know how big these people generally are on average at these positions, you need to start looking at yourself and say, how big are you right now? How big do you think you're gonna get? Now the best ways you're gonna do that is look at your past family members and see, okay, when did they hit their growth spurts and how big did your family members get on average? You need to look and see, okay, yeah, like I'm 5'8 and my parents are only 5'5, five five, but I'm in grade 10 and they hit their growth spurt at like grade 11. So you might actually keep growing and get bigger than your parents. It kind of fluctuates. Okay, so now that we have that general idea of like, yeah, you think you're gonna be a good size for your position, let's look at some of the attributes of those positions. All right, first one we're gonna look at is center. We call them the quarterback of the line. Things you need at center, you're gonna be the smallest of the O-linemen because it creates a V-shape. You're gonna to need to be smart, low center of gravity, great at using your leverage. You need to be vocal to communicate calls to the line. And you need to thrive under pressure of snapping in really intense situations. Next is gonna be guard. These are gonna be the big athletes on the line. These are guys that probably played other sports. You look at guys like Quentin Nelson, they were all-stars in both basketball and wrestling. You're an overall athletic, big-bodied guy. You have really good footwork to work in the open field on some of these like pull blocks, and you have really good hand-eye coordination for like getting onto a guy in the open field. Next is gonna be tackle. These are gonna be the big, strong guys. You're gonna be the tallest of the linemen. You're gonna to have to have really strong hands to clamp onto some of these DNs. You're gonna to need to have really good footwork to keep up with their speed, and you're gonna to need to be big, but you're gonna to need to move like a small guy to work with some of these other people that are coming off the edge. You see tackles nowadays are running like four, eight forties in the NFL combine. It's insane. Looking at D-line, the interior D-lineman, gonna be kind of the same as a center. You're gonna need to be a little bit smaller, a little bit thicker, good low center of gravity, great at using your leverage, and it's your job to hold down the middle. Next is gonna be your exterior D-lineman, so outside linebackers, defensive ends, defensive tackle. You're gonna need to be fast and explosive to create that edge. You're gonna need to be really flexible and be able to bend down and get around those really tall tackles. You're gonna need to have really good instincts to see what's coming, right? You need to see if there's a crack block or a toss going outside. You're gonna need to have good overall football instincts to make sure you maintain your outside gap and you're a guy that could probably play outside linebacker or any type of linebacker as well next we're looking at receiver so of course you need to have really good hand-eye coordination to catch the football you need to be really fast overall and you need to have really good body control you need to be able to contort your body make tough catches find the ball and come down with it next we're looking at corner these are guys that need to be really confident because if you get burned you need to come out the exact next play and come back and line up across from the same guy again and go one-on-one -on -one again so you're gonna need to be a little bit edgy a little bit of a shit talker you're gonna need to have really good acceleration to keep up with these receivers have really good closing speed you're gonna need to be really instinctual like a dn for like cracks and other things happening and making sure it stays inside and you need to have really good reaction time as people break in and out of the routes. Next is running back. You're gonna to need to have really good vision. You need to be really agile to cut in and out. You need to be able to accelerate through the line and then hit a flat line speed once you get through. And you need to be tough. Running backs do not last long in the NFL. You need to be tough. Now linebackers are kind of like the quarterback of your defense. So you need to be a really good leader, really vocal, but you also need to keep up with some of these other really fast guys. So you need to be fast, you need to be agile. 
You need to be tough. You need to have those instincts. There's a lot of things that a linebacker has to have that kind of pulls from other positions to maintain. You're able to tackle running backs. You're able to lock up a receiver if you have to. You're able to take on an O-lineman if you're blitzing. There's a lot of things a linebacker has to do. Tight ends, again, kind of a mix between like a lineman and a receiver. You need to have really good footwork, but you also need to be tough and take on some of these linemen by yourself. You need to have really good hands and still be able to run routes at a moderate level compared to like receivers. Quarterbacks need to be the entire package. They need to be confident. They need to be the leaders. They need to be decisive. They need to have instincts. They need to be a good overall athlete and do a lot of these things. They need to have a good arm. And overall, it is your job to command the field. So if you're a natural born leader, quarterback might be the spot for you. There you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Footballers. Let me know in the comments down below if you think based on this video, you're in the right or wrong position and why. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button so you know what kind of content you do want to see in the future. Subscribe for two videos every single week. I'll check you next time.